ke morata eh raga udule mo pusun 20 years ago at sa ho ajere meleka le tsatile ga gona le haile milanyana wa o teletswe ga gona le haile se soa hela sa se soa sa se teletswe ke gore a ga re tsa marago mmoloka ya go tla be go hedi re mo hikile re tla se re thole re mmo ya no ke kopa gore mente wa ame o ke morata nthana gore ba gaetsho ara ka re leba lebeng awa honors policy ya go bona gore megaka ya la hatsile ra e ra e tlotla e ibile ra e se ba ke tike bone e me ka gore rena le bagolo ha ke tsa gore ba le mogile gore e ra dumala ore gonne ja me ka ha ke le mogang ka teng ka ha ri leng ke ta dinya ka bona ka teng go tla nna ja ya no la bo helo ma ke le tlogeleng ka temana ke ke motho wa ba ebe la batho betso e ke tsana ke reke ya anglike ne le le right re ma anglike me gona le temana ke yar ke jeremaya chapter 6 verse 16 and it says this is what the lord says stop at the crossroad and look around ask for the old godly way and walk in it travel its path and you will find rest for your souls uncle mahogwa ya le baganya bana ba ga masire re ra gao le le sika la gagwe lotle me bile ke a le baganya le madomo kra e bile ke a le baganya le la hatse lo tlhela ro gore ba gaetse ha ere re dira ditiro ha ere re tsamaya re be re bona e kete go hihala go gongwe re hihalwa ke tsela mahoko a a re boela ngo morago go makgaogano nga ditsela boela ngo morago go makgaogano nga ditsela le tla ithela batho ko le ba botse gore tsela e neng e tsama ka bo raetsho ke he me ba ta le ra ba re tsela e ne tsama ka bo raeno ke ye walk on it kore ha wa tshwana ke go tlhabiwa ke dithong a ke ra ra ga itsholela go mpie e tsena mo mathateng ha gongwe e di thotwa tsa ditemane di a go tlase go areng bo silibe pikwe ba tswalwa go atweng re tsena mo di phara go be temana e a re boela ko marakanelong a ditse o tla ithela batho ba botse gore bo rae tshobane ba tsama ka tsela e he ba dala ra ba re tsela ya bo rae no ke ye 
se ke se buang batho be tswe ke gore re ra ga one o re tlogetse go na le ba le ba bangwe ba le bone re na nna bo ba tla re tlogela ya no a re re santse re na le bone ha re dira dilo a re di direng ka maikaelelo a go toka ha me ha ka re re di dira re tsama ra be re bona tsela e hi hala ha pele ga rona ko marakanelong a ditse ba getsho a mo a gara etsho o roba le ka ka getsho ra le go gare kwela go be o bua o le tsala ya bora masire the essence of Rekola Hobbes talk was a reflection on his experiences as a member of cabinet in Botswana, a politician, a friend to the Masira family over many years. That, that was it. We continue with our program. It's my honor to invite senior statesmen, the former president of the Republic of South Africa, Raisu Tabumbeki, Kantelen Nikilbulala Hori, Kosilitie. Nikilbulala Hori, Kosilitie, Kemalumaru, Na. Meritwana Le Rembeki, welcome, Mr. Former President. Rembeki Le, Nikimutuholu Kolesut, Hutale Bulele. Mutwa Kwa. Your Excellency President uh, Sreza Kama, E.M. Kama, uh, esteemed members of the Masire family, Your Majesties, and other traditional leaders, uh, Your Excellency's heads of state and government, <coughs> and former heads of state, Vice President, Honorable Ministers of the Government of Botswana, and visiting ministers, Your Excellency's members of the Diplomatic Corps, leaders of the Botswana Democratic Party and other political leaders, leaders of Botswana, political parties, the sister people of the Republic of Botswana, fellow mourners, ladies and gentlemen. We have gathered here in Kanye on a very sad day. A very sad day because we have come here to say a final farewell to a beautiful human being, a humble servant of the peoples of Botswana and the rest of Africa, an outstanding and exemplary African leader, Sekitum Lemasiri. With his departure, we will miss his laughter, which tinkled as clear as a bell, his quiet humor, and his wise and invaluable advice given in gentle ways which spoke of a, hu of a humble sage who was forever free of conceit. Even though he has departed the world of the living, we will still walk tall throughout the world because as Africans, we can proclaim to all humanity that from this small acre of Africa was born a son, Kitumila Masire, whose quality of leadership made us proud to call ourselves African. <laughs> As all of us know, Reki Tumile Masire served his, in the presidency of the Republic of Botswana as vice president and president for just over three decades, from 1966 to 1998. And this was a crucial period for the development of Botswana, and especially the struggle for the liquidation of colonialism and white minority rule in Africa including in their most stubborn outposts in Southern Africa. Rema Sire was therefore present and active at all times. As one after the other of these outposts fell, 
such that after the liberation of my own country in South Africa in 1994, Africa could at last say it had finally liberated itself from the scourge of colonialism and white minority rule, which had affected our continent for 500 years. I first came to this country, then called Bechuana Land, 55, 55 years ago in 1962. I'm sorry to confess about my age. <laughs> <coughs> I was part of a group of young South Africans who were passing through this country to pursue further education abroad on the instructions of the African National Congress, ANC. On our short journey through the then Bechuana Land, that journey confirmed to us that the peoples of Botswana and South Africa were tied together by unbreakable bonds which confirmed that we shared a common destiny. And this was because our transit through the then Bechuana Land, British Protectorate of Bechuana Land, was facilitated by Botswana, who, like Professor Z.K. Matthews, had involved themselves directly in the struggle for the liberation of South Africa, these being such as the late Mutsama Mpo and Fish Keating. In this context, I must also mention yet, uh, yet other Botswana, such as Lawrence Likalake, Mike Dengake, and Ko Sekhola, all of whom were also intimately involved in the struggle for the liberation of South Africa. <laughs> During 1959, the late Reza Zakama was engaged in a somewhat complicated discussions to get Professor Z.K. Matthews to come and work in Bechuana Land, <coughs> given that Z.K. was leaving the University College of Forte to express his opposition to boundary education. And in a letter to Z.K. Matthews, dated the 2nd of November, 1959, Esreza Kama wrote, quote, pardon what appears to be a great deal of intrigue, but you do realize that association with the African National Congress does not always go down very well in some quarters. That was British Petrona Land, not Botswana. Thus did Esreza Kama who was mentored by Z.K. Matthews while he was a student at Lovedale High School and at Forte, indicate his own position of affinity with the ANC. This made it easy and possible for him to try to get a very prominent leader of the ANC, Z.K. Matthews, to work in Betrana Land, an effort which only succeeded much later when Z.K. Matthews became the UN ambassador of Botswana in 1966. As we passed through Petronaland in 1962, we did not know that the then Secretary General of the Botswana Democratic Party, the predecessor of uh, DK, <laughs> we didn't know that the then Secretary General of the Botswana Democratic Party, Secretary Mle Masire, was keeping an eye on our group, which had tried unsuccessfully to disguise itself by presenting itself as a football team. <laughs> Ever self-effacing, Saikitumile disclosed this important fact only last year, a fact that was and is important because it confirmed the long-standing concern of the leaders and the people of Botswana for the success of the South African struggle for liberation. It remains true that the full story about the invaluable contribution of Botswana to the victory of the struggle against apartheid tyranny and the other liberation struggles in our region has not as yet been told. And that story includes the fact that for many years, Botswana served as the bridge many liberation fighters in our region used to access the rest of independent Africa. And among those who passed through this country, helped by the sister people of this country, were such eminent African patriots and, and leaders as Oliver Tambo and Nelson Mandela, President Mugabe here, the late Samora Machel, and President Sam Noyoma, who is with us today. In addition to these, there were very many other liberation fighters, especially from South Africa, from Namib Namibia and Zimbabwe, 
who pass through this country to get military and other training elsewhere. And yet there were others like our own who came back through Botswana to engage apartheid enemy inside South Africa. And again, others remained in Botswana maintaining an organized presence which served as an indispensable link in the communication chain which made it possible to wage our various struggles in this region. It was inevitable that the apartheid regime would do its best to make Botswana pay a price for the role it played in the manner I have described. Early in 1974, an outstanding young South African fighter for liberation, Unkhuputse Tiro, was murdered in Khaburuni by the apartheid regime through a parcel bomb. And this was a precursor to other criminal violence which the apartheid regime would visit on Botswana, claiming the lives of a number of his citizens who fell side by side with their South African brothers and sisters. Thus, the apartheid forces of repression launched deadly attacks in Khaburuni in 1985 and in Mohoditsane in 1986. And yet, despite the pain they suffered, and the knowledge that the apartheid regime located only a few kilometers across the common border would strike again, the sister people of this country did not flinch or waver, but stood firm until the apartheid regime was no more. I'm certain that I speak for all of the people of Southern Africa when I pay a, heartful, a heartfelt tribute to the leader we bury today, Sekitumile, for the central role he and his colleagues played in ensuring that this republic and its people remained steadfast in their principal support for the total liberation of Africa. It is perfectly obvious that if he and his fellow leaders had lost the will to resist, intimidated by the criminal might of the apartheid regime, so would have the determination of the masses of the people to support the liberation struggle weakened. However, <coughs> loyal to the cause of freedom and the dignity of all Africans, these leaders, with President Sereza Kama and Kitumile Masire leading from the front, stood their ground. They conducted a complex political and diplomatic struggle which kept the apartheid enemy at bay while inspiring the people they led to remain ready to make the necessary sacrifices to help bring down the tyrann tyrannical white minority regimes then in power across the borders of Botswana. Personally, I was very honored to experience this magnificent, skilled, and courageous leadership at close quarters. Given that from 1973 onwards, I was privileged to work closely with representatives of the government and the people of Botswana, as led by President Sekitumila Masire, even as uh, His Excellency the President here, uh, President Ian Kama, was uh, leading the Botswana Defense Force. These were the people who supported us in that struggle during all those years. In this regard, I was truly moved by the personal hand of friendship which Ketumele extended to me. Today we lay to rest an eminent son of Botswana and of Africa to whom many accolades are due. As one of the principal architects of the democratic Botswana, which has extricated itself from the case of being one of the poorest countries in the world, a Botswana of which all of us are proud. An accolade as one of our continental leaders who helped to build SADC, the Southern African Development Community, and served courageously as a member of the frontline state. And an accolade as an architect, a co-architect of Africa's renaissance, as he helped the people of the Democratic People of Republic of Congo to reconstruct and develop their country in conditions of peace, and lend a hand to the people of Rwanda to address the, after, the aftermath of a terrible genocide. An accolade as a statesman who has set benchmarks which define the essence of exemplary leadership. And an accolade 
as a frontline combatant for the total liberation of Africa from colonialism and white minority domination. Thus must we see this solemn occasion when we consign the mortal remains of an outstanding African, Sekitu Milamasire, to its final resting place as an occasion to celebrate a life well spent, a life which has brought much good to millions of people inside and outside the borders of Botswana. And I'm honored to take this opportunity to convey our condolences to the Masire family, Your Excellency President Dian Kama, the government of Botswana, as well as to the BTP and the sister people of Botswana. Uh, to you all, dear friends, we say humbly, we too share your loss. To our dear leader, Sekitumila Masire, we say, Robalagaka Heso Mumwaketsi, great son of Botswana and of Africa. And thank you very much. I appreciate uh, the message uh, from South Africa, Karen Beki. The next item in the program, we will be listening to the address by the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Senior Statesman, His Excellency Robert Gabriel Mugabe. Uh, we're just going to take a music interlude while we uh, rearrange the stage and then we will continue with the program. Mudi Mualiti Rayo Matata Pina, Pina, it's 